Hey, good afternoon again, Rebecca and Zach. Sean back with you. I am down here at uh, 1820 East LaRua Street, as you can see in front of me. Um, kind of turn around, scan the neighborhood. Like I said, this is the neighborhood I've been talking about that uh, we're south of uh, Cervani Street, whole different uh, type of neighborhood compared to what we've been looking at in East Hill. You'll see much bigger homes, estate homes, a lot more established, meaning long-term residents. There's hardly any turnover here on these houses. Um, I call this doctor's row. There's about eight or nine different doctors that live on this street and have been here for, for quite a while. If you look at them between the houses, you'll see uh, parts of Escambia Bay. You see the neighbors across the street. And uh, right at the corner of 19th and LaRua, House across the street's totally getting redone right now. He's a FedEx pilot, lives there. He's retired uh, Navy, I believe. Um, but this is just looking out. I'm standing in the front yard. You can see Escambia Bay, the three mile bridge that is not in use right now. And uh, walking up. So this home built in 1936, almost everything is original on it. I just talked to the homeowner who's walking her dog right now. Uh, they've done a lot of upgrades over the years. And I'll point those out as we go through. Original hardwoods from 1936 out, and they are absolutely gorgeous. Plaster walls all over the uh, walls. Everything's original. They have put new windows in. Uh, the house does have geothermal. They've got uh, insulation, blown insulation up in the attic. Uh, they've got, um, they've redone the kitchen. You'll see there's only one unique feature that stood out to me. See if you can point it out as we go through. Um, but yeah, just kind of that uh, curb appeal, stately looking home that uh, that we talked about. Uh, and obviously you can see. So going in the front door and I'll turn around. So you can see front step, not much different view than what I saw before, but you can start to see the Scambia Bay looking out. There's the start of Three Mile Bridge. I don't know if you can see that barge way off in the distance out there. But uh, again, corner lot, corner of 19th and LaRua. So let's go through the front door. And immediately we're met with these beautiful oak treads going upstairs. Awesome staircase, kind of wraps around. I wouldn't call it a spiral staircase by any means, but uh, you've got chair rail down here. They do have rugs in every room, the oriental rugs, kind of time specific, if you will. I think you could do anything you wanted in here. Very neutral colored walls. Again, they're plastered walls, they're, they're super thick. Uh, you can see the hardwood floors are absolutely gorgeous in throughout. Off to the left is a formal dining room. Uh, the lady that lives here, she actually works for one of the captains on base, so uh, she's always online. She was actually in here a little bit ago on with her NMCI account, so. Uh, kind of scanning the whole formal dining room. You can see the chandelier. This house is extremely well built. Uh, obviously it's lasted through everything. They've had no hurricane damage whatsoever in any storm that they've been here. They've owned the home about 12 years, she said. Again, you see the chair rail and uh, molding that they have here in the dining room. Off the dining room, they use this as like a TV room, if you will. She said when they bought the house, the former owners who actually now live across the street um, use this as a bedroom at one point. So they use this as a TV room. You'd have to convert some type of closet in here. That door is no longer, it, it's, you can open it, but there's nothing there. Maybe you could hang some shoes upside down and you'll see why they've got a laundry room on the back side of this when they closed it off and made the, the uh, kitchen bigger. So this back room overlooks the, uh, this overlooks the, the backyard. And I'm walking back into this formal dining room to get to the kitchen. You can see the kitchen. One of the cool parts about the kitchen, they expanded this double the size kitchen when they moved in, but then they opened up the ceilings as well. So it's got this beautiful chandelier in here, back door that goes out. Got kind of this cherry colored cabinets throughout, stainless steel dishwasher. It's actually a marble sink. They've got marble subway tile as the backsplash. Nice KitchenAid uh, electric cooktop. Everything in the house is electric. 
This is the pantry. I'm just showing you the, the kitchen. Again, the overview. And again, this awesome vaulted ceiling in the kitchen. So pantry, here's the unique feature of the house. I'll just go ahead and point it out. You've got this door, stackable wash and dryer. That's your laundry room right in the kitchen. Uh, makes sense on a 1936 home when they, when they expanded this side out. Um, that was the only thing that I would say is different, uniquely different from, from everything else we've looked at. Um, but uh, not a deal breaker with how cool the house is. Again, back in the uh, dining room, looking out, again, that is the front door. This is that back room I told you about. I'm going to continue on this way just for a second because right off of this room, I, I said that once was used as a, as a bedroom, this back room here, there is a full bath downstairs. So they do have a, a tub shower combo in there. You see this vanity toilet and it overlooks the back. They got a little uh, toy, uh, I, I call it a designer dog. I don't know what they call them, but the thing's about three pounds. So these toys are about as big as the dog. Uh, anyways, um, that's the rear foyer. It looks out to this room here. There is a a closet right here underneath the staircase going upstairs again looking back out through the main front door foyer so over to the right of the uh front door you've got a formal living room it does have a fireplace in here it's a wood burning fireplace uh, traditional living room in this house you see the beautiful beams all the way across this room again beautiful refinished hardwood floors that are just epic for this time and period of home they still look awesome today you don't even see this stuff nice and new construction as far as hardwood floors like that it's a true uh true uh hardwood all the way through it's not even engineered it's just you can refinish over and over again kind of give you the view of the fireplace sitting in your living room you can look out that window you're probably getting some glare what it looks like through the phone, but I look out, I can see water and I can see the bay. Back side of my truck there. And then uh, looking out this, you can see Three Mile Bridge. Um, wanted to point out, you know, like I said, the, there's doctors live everywhere. Right down the street over that way is Clint Studer's house. Now that's a big ordeal, but that kind of puts in relation if you're talking to anybody from Pensacola where this house is located. Off of this formal living room, you have a nice sunroom. This sunroom's awesome. Again, it's all windows. It'd be a nice office. You've got plenty of bookshelves in here. Uh, tons of light coming in. And oh, by the way, you've got that same vaulted ceiling in this room as well. And they've got a couch in here, just a table. Use it as a study. And now we're going to go upstairs. So that is the downstairs. And as we walk up the steps, there you walk up about six, eight steps to a landing. Take a right. Now there's two bedrooms upstairs. You kind of see the, uh, I'm not quite all the way up the second landing. They do have a window right there at the top that they've got an armor in front of. Opposing closets on each side. Again, looking down into the foyer. These steps. See their chandelier. There is attic access up here where their HVACs are located up top. I'm going to go in the top of the stairs, left bedroom. So if you're sitting in front of the house, this would be the right top bedroom they use as a guest bed. Both bedrooms do have their own full baths. There is another window behind that armoire there. See, they have a TV on. Bed's pretty high, so wouldn't want to fall out of that bedroom. This, this bedroom's awesome. It's uh, probably 14 by 18, 14 by 20 on size, but it's got four big windows that look out front. You can kind of see over the top of that house in between, and there's water in between 
there's your water views again. And in this area down here, this is the little channel down there that you can start to see where you'd come in to get to um, Bayou Tahar right around the corner. It's overlooking, um, what street is that? What did I say it was? 19th? That's 19th Street down there. Again, two closets, closet here. Window behind this armoire, another closet, and then this is your full bath here. Old school style toilet that overlooks the back uh, carriage house or living space. They said when they lived here, their, uh, their son actually lived out there. Now I'm going to continue on to the left bedroom. So I'm using reference a left is uh, looking at the front of the house. Again, same setup as far as windows and bath go. This bedroom is a little bit smaller due to the way they have the, the bathroom arranged, but you still have four windows. So you get same water views. You can look out, see Escambia Bay. Right leads to downtown, so right around the corner from Graffiti Bridge. This just looks over to the neighbor's trees. This opens up into a closet here. And they've got shelving up above. Again, hardwood floors. And this is the only bathroom they said that never got refinished. So everything in here is original. Obviously you can tell it may be dated, but everything is extremely well taken care of. I have not seen a home of this age in this good of shape. I don't think ever. So um, quality cannot be stressed enough. I have seen a couple areas like this throughout, but that's just the plaster cracking. That's what you're gonna see on a home that's almost 100 years old, but none of it bothers me at all. So that's the upstairs. I'll give you a quick scan of this room again. You can see crown molding throughout the whole entire house up top. And I'm gonna head back downstairs and we'll go out the back door towards the uh, carriage house or the Airbnb, mother-in-law suite, whatever you want to call it. I would call it a mother-in-law suite, but it is a cool, cool space. There is a small basement, she noted. Uh, it's locked up over here, walking out the back door. And you can see the steps going down to it. And they just have the water heater down there and the air conditioning units underneath. One thing to note, I noticed all their downspouts. You see their downspouts? Those are all copper, so uh, pretty expensive to do copper doing that like they did. Show you the back of the house. Looks like a fairly new roof. See this backyard is huge. Not only do you have the concrete here, they've got, you know, Table and chairs set up here, a nice bench. Uh, there's not a lot of yard back there. That's yard, but it's more of a garden than anything. Actually, one of my friends who's a big uh, landscaper lives on the back side of this house. They've got a great carport. Big enough for two cars, no problem. Kind of show you the side street here quick. They're transplanting some bushes that they got from the neighbor, the landscaper. You see these lots are just big estate lots, big trees, big homes, big lots. Uh, this lot is probably every bit of a, cur uh, excuse me, a quarter to a third of an acre. So now I'm gonna take you in this uh, rear mother-in-law suite. It's pretty cool. It's like an efficiency, the way it's set up. It does have its own full bath in here as well. You come in the side door, vaulted ceiling, shiplap all the way around. So this is looking out.
bookshelves opposing when you walk in. They've got this set up almost for a little bit of entertaining because they've got this day bed out here. Kind of give you a scan of the whole room here. Again, vaulted ceilings to match the, uh, the kitchen and the, uh, the sunroom. Just a really cool space. And they've just got a wet bar out here. There's no, um, there is no uh, cooktop or anything like that. Just trying to check here what this is. Oh, it's a pull-out bed. It's uh, so there's your height of bed there. And storage, you'll see. They just got storage for your stuff down below. Probably do some entertaining out here. Looks like you got a piece of marble for a cutting board. Now this is a glue down engineered wood here. Uh, kind of fit paired with the house. Corian countertops, obviously refrigerator. You got some plates and then you walk up the stairs. You walk back here. There's your linen closets. Full on jacuzzi tub with a uh, towel surround. There is a window behind this uh, armoire here, crown molding throughout. And then you've got your vanity mirror. There's a window right there. And of course your stool. So very, very cool house. Uh, almost like a Victorian style stately house that uh, I just find to be super cool. So. Uh, very well taken care of e even the light you know hanging down this light is just awesome just a great space overall so hopefully that gives you a nice tour of 1820 east larua i'll walk back outside and do one last scan of uh across the front and uh upload this to you guys and get it over to you for uh your tuesday morning wake up so Hope you enjoyed this tour. Um, really cool house. I'm glad I got the opportunity to come over here and, and see it and show it uh, because it is very cool. Uh, just recapping as I walk around, that door over there would be walking out to the kitchen. So if you were entertaining, it's a straight shot there. That, you know, you've got the table and the bench and everything like that. If you wanted to have uh, a party out here, you could easily do so. Plenty of parking next to the in-wall suite. It's five o'clock, so people are coming home from work. So you'll see some cars out here. You'll notice this uh, area here is built up as well. It's about a two feet built up uh, on the front yard. So the house sits up like most of them do along here. But uh, there is, uh, there's La Rua. So looking forward to send this over to you guys and see what you think. Uh, hope all is well, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.